chat and ranked. He goes, big day tomorrow. Yeah. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> big day. That's all he said. <laughs> Enough of the tomfoolery. Game one underway. Starts with Gib. Gib around the box, and his touch will end up going the exact opposite way. Gino's already on point for it. To start dark, following it up. We'll be stocked and trying to get some offense going. Large will take the ball away again. And here's Dark carrying this one pass Insomniacs, but still the press is on for Waterloo. MD22 taken away by Dark. Gino has a break down the field. He can't get a solid touch onto the ball a little too fast. But possession changes yet again. Dark with the ball this time. MD22 is not the best touch. He gets back to it. Gino squares up, kills the ball, but you see playing it safe in midfield. Gibb actually wins that touch, but it's Gino's ball. So the first minute, a couple of opportunities looking like they were about to form for both teams, but nothing really threatening just yet. And to the credit of the analysis before the game, I am curious to see what, what has been happening with the Stockton team, because it's not like they're a bad team, but their record doesn't show that they've been as good as maybe we expected during the season. So. I'm curious to see, now that we're seeing them now in the, in the postseason compared to week one, what this team does. How do they work? Well, how they work is they put a lot of pressure on the opposition. Huge demo there from MD22 to get some space to work with, but Stockton is definitely one of the fastest teams out there. I mean, they make great reads. They're aggressive. They put pressure on you. And if I had to guess, it's really just they go for something they really shouldn't at some point and they give up probably a two-on-one or maybe even an open net. Right now, Waterloo are matching that speed. And credit to Stockton, a good job carrying the ball out of their own half. Beating an opponent out. But these passes, they're those last, those, those potential shot passes, if you will. They can't materialize, everything ch challenged. Gibb takes that away and hitting that break was MD22 to allow his teammates to move across. Large sets this up for Dark. He can't find the ball. Gino on the rotation. It's low off the backboard. And Somnix will take it away. Still tied game through half of game one. And we haven't really seen too much from Waterloo here. We've seen, I mean, that shot just alone from Large was ripped at the net. Now a dark opportunity. Large is up. Can he drop it in off the post? Insomnix oh, got the save, and it's oh. going to be saved again. Insomnix getting it away, and Waterloo keep their net clean. Oh, Jorby, oh. what has Insomnix done? He only oh, had please. one shot. <laughs> that was not Insomnix. That was Dark missing the shot. <laughs> Gino Cop made the sickest pass out to middle, and you're going to ridicule that? I'm going to ridicule you for fun. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> the demo to stop Large for a second. Dark and Gino trying to keep this ball locked in the orange half. As much pressure and as good as the passing has been from Stockton and keeping possession, they still have yet to oh, score. Get that. Dark bodies his way towards the box. Another shot for Gino, and it's good for Stockton. That's just Dark. Great challenge. He hit this ball, had 50 oh. boost right at that point. I knew he was going to be able to stick with that. Insomniacs can't fight it out. Runs into Gibb, trying to get in the net as well. And Gino just rips one into the middle. Save it if you can. Can't break it out. A lot of credit goes to Dark on that goal, and Gino to put it away. Stockton finally get one here, and it felt like their offense has been much more threatening than Waterloo's. There have been a couple of big challenges, though. Gino not able to find the second touch. Large can't find it either, and now it's Gibb and Somnix and MD22, 1v3 against Dark, and good delay. Somnix trying to find MD22 in traffic, and Gibb is buying time. MD22 giving way for Insomnix, having to carry this out. Waterloo still down by one. Insomnix kicks it by another in dark. He's got Large to beat here, and he can't do it. Large off the ceiling, having to fight MD22 for the ball. MD22 on his out of his way out of the rotation. Gibb can't find it, and Gino can't break out of midfield. Dark forced up against the backboard, and he gets probably the best touch he could get. Large patience in front of the box. Time running out for Waterloo, and... I've got Stockton locked in a little bit. Good challenge from Gibb just to keep it going for Waterloo and a touchdown 
from Dark. It's just MD to keep this one alive for Waterloo. He does so, and maybe a second touch from him. The follow-up from wow. Insognix, saved by Gino. Still Waterloo pressing on here. Give can't get the touch, and Larch clears it away for Stockton. And Gino has Dark downfield already. Dark, not a solid touch. And Sonix kicked it a little too far away, but Large couldn't handle it. MB22 has Gib. Gib misses the touch. It may benefit Waterloo. Gino kicks it away. And, and Somnix tries to keep the ball in play. Large is already down the pitch. It's in the net. And that will be a Stockton victory in game one. So what'd you make of Stockton? That's your first time seeing him. Corelli, thoughts? Uh, I liked what I saw, definitely on the defense or on the offensive end. Felt like Waterloo gave them a lot of space to work with as well. But for Stockton, things bode well in game one after this performance. I think uh, you're right. They're quick. They're, They're very, fast. very quick. And I feel like it's led by someone like Large getting involved. Huge goal, uh, I guess, assist from Dark. I give him most of the credit on that goal just with the challenge in midair to follow up off the back post, get the bump, and Gino Cop to put it away. So for uh, Dark... Uh, very good game from him as well. I thought all three of them worked very nicely here mm -hmm. for Stockton. Yeah, good pressure. And uh, Insomniac, to your credit, he had an awesome game, almost 500 points, five saves. Uh, the dude had to do some serious work on his defensive end. And unfortunately, MD22 and Gibb, just after a couple of those big saves were made, just didn't have the ability to go up and win those next couple of challenges. So good pressure from Stockton. But there were definitely a couple key points. Waterloo caught Stockton in an awkward spot, and they made a lot of good touches off their own wall. Yeah, definitely. And I think the, the issue came down. There was a couple of times I saw them wanting to break out of midfield, but it was either either low boost. It felt like the resources were, were pretty low. I mean, they did give Stockton a lot of space, and a lot of it was on a lot of uh, on counterattacks in, in the middle of the field. And, and th these passes shouldn't be connecting from the defensive third to, to the attacking third. Somebody's got to be there for a challenge. So Waterloo... I think if they can uh, fix the positioning a little bit and be prepared for these counterattacks, they might have a, a better a better shot. I thought at times it looked good, though, for Waterloo. I'll see if they can look even better in game number two. They're down by a single game now in this best of seven. And Skirt! We're going to take a little bit of a pause real quick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a player when it needs a, a different cable. Free. No, it was Jorby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jorby, yeah. do you need a different cable? I need... You know, it, wireless was the greatest invention uh, in the technological era, and it, not enough of it in my life. Not enough of it in my life. For the record, it wasn't Jorby. I was kidding. No, it was me. Okay, it was Jorby. Hashtag, right. hashtag blame Jorby, and then, you know... And then hashtag blame Squishy. Let Cor me know. Cor yes, and then Corelli's <laughs> guilty by so association, so... Use the hashtag CRL19 and tell me why Jorby paused the game. <laughs> what did he do? What did he want to show us? What did he do? What kind of mischief did he get into? There's a lot of pot there's a lot of potential answers. Lots of things. Yeah. Tell me why. Hashtag CRL. What do you think, Corelli? Uh, I think it's because you're a lovable, wonderful guy. And so uh, I paused the game. And you wanted to spend more time and to talk with us? Yeah, oh. I wanted to just talk with you more. You guys have a deep misunderstanding of, of how I feel about you. Are you not a lovable and understanding person? Well, you see, I am a very understanding and appreciative person. And I appreciate <laughs> that I can be here to control you two nitwits. Wow. Would you like to rescind your thoughts? Um, I would throw this mug at him, but it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and I was told uh, that I can't break it. For anyone for anyone out there, Karelian and Sheaves are two very near and dear people to my heart. Oh, so now we're cool, guys. Oh, yeah, now we After cool. we threatened him yeah. with no, hitting him with a mug. That's how, you, that's, how you get how the, that's how you get the lovable, understanding person, because <laughs> it's like, I tell you you're an idiot, but I still love you. Mm. I so, like you too, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are just not adding up here. We got a player disconnect. Uh, that's why we're paused, waiting for them to, uh, I don't know, plug in their controller once more. But, uh, I mean, Waterloo, they had a couple of potential counterattacks that they just didn't make They didn't make the touch. They couldn't make the connection on a couple of them. And uh, I've started calling it, and I'll credit Chrome for this, because Chrome oh, here we had go. said this, and I've started using it as optimistic positioning. For Waterloo, that's a fun way to phrase that. It can it can beat you. An optimistic positioning meaning just you just expect your teammate to win a challenge, even though it it clearly looks like it is mm. not like it could go either way, or it, they've 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 cleanly lost. So that's like Words whenever hard I play ranked with Corelli, I just assume he's going to win everything. And then Achieves looks like an idiot because he's jumping from midfield to make a save. I do try and do that. Yeah. Yes. So he also can't dribble. 
That is true. We are almost 5,500 hours into this game, and my dribbling. You've been practicing? No, it is terrible. No, I watched him. He's Seriously. Like, I don't get it. And the ball just slides off. It's like I 1v1 Corelli the other day. <laughs> don't get it. I, I 1v1 Corelli the other day. All right, ready, like, ready. Ready. Yeah. All right here we go. That's a great example. example. Live look at a Chiefs trying to dribble in his dominus. So That's, this is true. Right, ball bouncing, like, boop, boop. It's like, and all right, like, clean catch. There we go. We got How it. How do you do this? <laughs> It's, what happened? It's, it's true. funny because that's very true. And that then he just and then he does this and he's like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pouting. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I've I've it's a great heard time. it. I've seen it. I've heard it. I've been there. I'm pouting. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's the truth though. It makes me sad that I just I I can't dribble. But you know. Well, the good news is the good news is is that Stockton and Waterloo can both dribble. And I think they're about to get back on. The Let's pitch. watch them instead. <laughs> get back into the game here in just a moment. Uh, and like you said, Waterloo needing to get back in this series. Yep. Down one, lost game one. Back at the first kickoff here for game two. See if Waterloo can get anything going early on. Clear comes out for Stockton. Large, long clear back towards the Waterloo side. Dark had options, but dunked away by MD. Here's Gino on the dribble, tried to go on, under one. Here's Somnics, now MD 22. Opportunity for Waterloo, and that touch there from MD might have slowed him down just a little bit, and Stockton's able to take it out. So we've seen Waterloo do this in the first game. They're able to you know, have a clean rotation and make the next touch on offense, but not a ton of passing. And really, not a lot of continuous touches for the Orange team. They oh lost a big dear. one to Gino off the backboard. He'll confirm, and that'll be a goal for Stockton. So I was following Gibbs' camera on the way back here. He knows Gino has this touch. Why does he not jump up and try and take that away? He turned forward. Gibbs, you know Gino's going to follow that up. You know it. You can't let him do it to you, man. Definitely hurts. He had 92 boost. It's this, not like he didn't have anything. That hurts too. Large picks up the goal off of Dark on the cheat on the kickoff. Oh. Gino just stuck him on the kickoff. And the follow up from Dark is perfect. Then Large, the third man coming through. Everything worked there for Stockton straight off the kickoff. And Waterloo now in shambles in the first minute. And it started off much better for Waterloo in game one. It was. Not until I believe within two minutes that either team, and it was Stockton only who picked up a goal. This time, Stockton pick up two early goals and Waterloo's offense hasn't really been anything to scream at. MD22 forced to make a save and Somnix has to clear this out. Gino just takes the ball away and helps carry it out from midfield. And a big win as well. Waterloo, finally a little bit of space. It's dark actually lets him off the hook. Large, big challenge, Gibb trying to close the gap. Not in time, but Dart across for Gino and way out of reach. And here's where you need to control the ball if you're Waterloo. You need to win this next couple of challenges. Gino can only win one, and Gibb will pitch it down. That is just not going to be anything for Insomnix. So Dart will take it away. It's Stockton on offense again, large, following that. Dark trying to clear this out. It's been fast on the rotation for Waterloo on defense. They've cleared a lot of these. Ooh. Around to the oh. corners, and it's a forced own goal on the attempted save. Gino, another goal. And Gino got all of this one. Even coming off the redirect from the defender, it's still 79 miles an hour. And MD put it away for the wrong side. So Stockton now, two minutes in, up by three. Real pretty for Stockton. And some work to do for Waterloo, but to commit for Stockton on defense. Chance here for Gibb to set up his team. And Somnix has the shot, but it's wide. 2v1. Nice Gibb able job. to roll around and take the ball away. Uncontested. Gino there with the ball right in front of his net, facing sideways. Surprising not to see someone from Waterloo right in his face, putting the pressure on. Playing from his own back wall, having to fight against two to two attackers, and it's a clean win. An open net. If he can get back to it, Gino gets one touch, and one touch is all he needs to move back down the pitch. Bad midfield. The Ooh. shot on off the pass for Dark 
Four to nothing, and Stockton can't be stopped. And if I don't got away from Gino for just a split second, you saw him having to use that flip a little bit late to catch back up to it. Dark was ready for that pass. It's great vision coming out from Gino, and a 4-1 lead now from Stockton. And, and you're right, it, it does look pretty from them. It wasn't as pretty in game one. You could see the potential of having plays being put together Why? and the passing plays coming through for Stockton. But this game's a great example of Stockton doing so well and connecting with each other. Definitely, and I mean, that pass was the first real pass down the pitch we've seen from Waterloo in game two. Gabe has a shot, and finally, Waterloo break through Stockton's defense. They're on the board. Nice touch from Insomniac's off the wall, and that's just a double commit. Gino, that's gonna be a tough ask anyway. He's expecting the strong shot into the middle, and Gibb able to put just enough touch onto the right to get it around him. So nice shooting from Gibb there to get him started at least. And it might be too little too late in game two at least. But for Waterloo, they've, they've struggled to find any offense so far in the last eight, in eight minutes and 15 seconds. And Large almost finds another. That'll be easy for Gino to pick up on the rebound. And it doesn't stop. It does not stop for Stockton and for Gibb there. Big miss, and Sognitz comes off of a player on the Stockton side as well. So for Stockton, or for, excuse me, Waterloo, things are looking dire in game two, and they've really got to start to figure out what Stockton is doing to them, because this series could get ugly really quickly. The faster, period. Right. It's ugly now. Like, and Somnix didn't go for that ball at all, even if his teammate was on the back wall. So look at this, Dart, uncontested. MD, he's never gonna reset. You can see that rotating in the net. Insomniacs let it bounce out, didn't even go all the way to the goal line. It's just too much fade. That's a tough play. If you're looking at that from Waterloo's rotate back, you see MD jump at that, you can't expect him to come up with that touch. You know it's gonna be difficult. And Gibb, uh, try as he may. There's been several challenges like that where you think he has the win initially, but he ends up hitting it right back into the opponent's car and loses it. Waterloo. The struggles continue and Dark plays oh. it slow, gets it over MD22. How about Dark? What? And Gibb own goals. And, you know, it's not Gibb's real fault here. MD22 can't get this. Makes him look silly. Dark just punches it over Insomniacs and Gibb is like. How do you, what do you mean neither of you touched that, it? That, that ball is over both of you? And there's just no excuses on the Waterloo side. I mean, literally everyone was right in front of Dark. And. He's only got two options there because of the, the back wall. He either goes over you or he kicks it back down to his own side, to his left. So he cuts off one of his own options there by having the wall, and yet he still gets through all three of Waterloo. This game is easy. It's it, th Stockton is using our <laughs> age-old adage, just to win, and they're doing that. It's very true, Cheese. <laughs> you know, as an analyst for many years, <laughs> there is one true thing that you can say. Many years. Is if you win, then you win. Winners win. Winners win. You know, if you don't let goals go into your net, the other team doesn't score. Yeah. That's your... That's why we get paid the big bucks. That's your Madden moment with Jordy, please. Oh! Just missing on the pass. That would have been sick. Dark hitting it off the back wall. It is taken away again. 15 seconds remaining, and Stockton, it's been nothing but solid touches. Nothing but that from Dark. Good passing, especially moving down the pitch from the corners, finding each other in the field, controlling the pitch. Waterloo are lost, and they're gonna leave Farmstead a little dizzy as we head to game three. And, you know, this is, I'm gonna say, I said this earlier in, this, in the game, but. Say it again. Say it again, is Waterloo has to figure it out because right now, this series could be a very long series with only four games if we have a couple more games like this one. Stockton, like we said, so fast to the ball, so quick. Quick down the field, not only on the ball, but passing plays through the midfield as well, finding the gaps that Waterloo is leaving. So for Waterloo, oh, also, Dark just going through all three of the defense is just inexcusable. So so what's got to change for Waterloo specifically? Well, Wall I, defense. Wall defense. Wall defense. It's said? so bad. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It's sure. so bad. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a combination of a few things, I think. I mean, Stockton, first of all, is when he's 
What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Continue. <laughs> Stockton being so fast, you've got to start uh, controlling even just your own boosts on your own side. Uh, and second of all, you can't leave the open spaces in the midfield. We saw a couple times that Stockton were able to just take the ball and do whatever they wanted with it. You've got to have someone there to disrupt or at least just not, you know, Stockton's going to see you and say, okay, I can't pass there, you know, and the play never comes about. So for Waterloo, see if they can figure it out here in game three. And they have to now. At times they've had some decent pressure, but it hasn't been anything super threatening for Stockton. They've kind of walked to this 2-0 victory, or 2-0 series lead, rather. MD22 takes that shot and oh, is blocked man. by Gino. This is a good start. Waterloo had a similar possession to start off last game. And unfortunately, nothing came of it, but this is good. Way to set the tone here for game three, Waterloo. You're coming out, battling, getting in their face. Forcing him to give up ground, and they can't make the save. MD22 will get it going. Yeah, poor attempt here from Dart coming off his own back wall. Gino does well to stop the first, but MD22 there and timed it. flips under the ball instead of at it. And Waterloo, this is good, on the board first. Absolutely, but Large picks this up on the cheat, on the kickoff, and he almost gets it by Insomniacs. Good follow from MD22, better follow up from Gibb, forces Dar or Gino up, but Gino has the save. I love Gino on that dribble, keeping it close to him, and Dark just flips by two defenders, forces Insomniacs up, no chance at the ball, oh, with right a shot him. right in MD22. Anywhere else, and Large would have had that goal because Dark rotated through the defense there, made that last defender freeze on the goal line. Fortunately, the ball comes right at him. Large winning on the challenge will be a pickup for Gino. It almost came for free off the backboard. MD22 picked it up just in time. Waterloo defense, they're going for things. They know they can't afford to continue giving space. They miss another clear off the wall, and Somnik's quick to cover up, though. It's good to go for it. They just got to start making the co making contact. Gino, he's by two attackers. It's up to give to buy some, or MD22, excuse me, to buy some time. And he will carry it out, and he will be denied by Dark. Forces give up again. And, and that's been happening to Waterloo consistently. They get the first touch, and then they get stuffed by Gino. To commit on the backboard, no one picks it up. I said wall defense. That's a slow one towards your wall. Hit it. <laughs> defeated, Chiefs. You sound defeated. I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. You know who's not defeated yet? Waterloo. They got plenty of time. With three minutes left, it's only tied. I'm sorry. I, I am being a little harsh towards no, Waterloo. No, that's not. I never said that. But it's playoffs. I'm being your foil, Achieves. Be you as, gotta hit that clear. Be as angry and sad about people not hitting the ball as you want. This one is another miss. Large sends it over to Dark. He can't find the ball, or at least can't find the net. Gino wants to keep it going for Stockton and Waterloo, a chance the other way. See if Waterloo can put anything together on offense. They got their first goal, but since then, Stockton have really picked up the control and the possession, especially on the Waterloo side. Look at the space that Large has. Put this one off the back wall and then able to follow it up. Here's Dark now. These two go for Stockton. It's going to come out to Gino. He puts a shot on target, and nobody from Waterloo can get back. He's got to carry this around the corner. You cannot hit this ball away with how much they're well, pressing could, on you. He was under pressure. Yeah, he I had saw. to flip out, I but saw. MD also did not come off the wall in the most graceful of manners there. Tough, tough spot on defense. Poor execution on the save attempt. Breakdown. Breakdown again. And 2-1 to one for Stockton. Large picks this up. He's got... An enforcer in dark, but dark can't send anything across. Stockton still on offense. Waterloo looking for another clear. The miss from large. Oh, what a oh. fake. Gino. Oh, man. He, how much boost or dark, he have? Excuse me. He's got enough. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. He goes through everyone on Waterloo, and he took them all on one by one. Takes it into an air dribble, and MD. Late on the challenge, and he was off 
to the right, and Dark takes it to the corner. Beautifully done by Dark. But you can understand MD getting pushed out over to the right side of the net. I mean, it does feel like Dark should be pushing that at least towards the middle, maybe even the right side of the goal. But to get back behind it and shoot left side with that much power with that second touch, that was a tough save to make. It's another play where Dark beats all three players, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Pretty good at that. Feels good to be good. Least against Waterloo, <laughs> another breakaway yeah, opportunity. And he takes light shot. Actually looked like he wanted large on the pass. Not nearly enough height or power. Yeah, it was in between a shot and a pass there. And now Waterloo, they've got just enough time here to get two goals. Gino going to throw this one downfield for Stockton. And at this point, they're just looking to get to game four on the Stockton side. Run out the clock or pad another goal. It's Waterloo. It's their chance to break out. Shut down by Large. Here's MD. Another clear down the field, but it's straight to a Stockton player. Comes back to MD22. Gino. Gave it over to Gibb. Gibb trying to get it to MD, but just completely jumped on. They get smothered. This is happening every time Waterloo come down the pitch. They get one touch here, so Gibb will go again, but he can't. He can't get back to it. It, it, that, that has been consistently happening to every single player on Waterloo, and the net's wide open here. Pass, blocked this time. But every time Waterloo have a chance at a continuation, the ball either gets away from them, or they can't find a pass, or there's always someone well, in their go. face. Credit to Stockton for always taking the challenge, always being in the right place for the next touch, even when they have to react. And they're gonna walk away the victors in game three and put this series within sweep territory. Time will expire, and Stockton going to take another game over Waterloo. And, and you're right, I mean, this is kind of what I was talking about. It wasn't as uh, brutal for Waterloo in this game, but 13 shots coming out from Stockton to the four on Waterloo's side. It just feels like Waterloo, they started off so well. And you even mentioned it, even that first drive, their first possession looked really good. And they were faster. I mean, Waterloo was trying to close the gap because they know Stockton has a lot of space and a lot of pressure. And, and you get the feeling that Waterloo's probably a little bit outclassed here by Stockton just in general. But that was a better game for Waterloo. At the end of the day, it came down to two poor clears. One, the missed touch off the wall. Second, MD not able to dismount and make a solid save. And I mean, it could have been 1-1 OT, but yeah. what are you going to do? What are you Go to game do? four. Start the reverse sweep. I like the speed you had, Waterloo, but you got to yeah. make the clears off the wall. It's the small mistakes that have come back for Waterloo, especially when you have a player like Dark who's going through your defense once, twice, two different games. See if Waterloo can make the adjustments or does Stockton take the series? Dark off the kickoff, goes quickly off the back. Oh! Oh! into the net, double tap, dancing Tony Dark. Hello. Yep, get your click, young man. Coming off the back wall, and MD just didn't get there in time. Stocked it. Five seconds, first goal. What a way to start. Well done, Dark. He's just been nuts all series. Another chance for Stockton. Catch denied by Gibb. Quick challenge. Touch there by Large. Gets back to it. He carries it down the pitch. Gino was shadowing close. MD22 and Insomniacs get over Dark. Having to handle this is Gino, and he has a little bit of space for Dark, who gets it by Gibb and gets it by Insomniacs. Dark doesn't lose a challenge. Our large just missing the touch. Insomniacs looking for Gibb downfield, cut off by Dark. Dark against MD22. MD22 will gain advantage. Gino looking for a gap. Gibb closes it. Waterloo looking for an opening. Looking for anything to give them any leeway in this game. Because this is it. If they can't get the lead back, if they can't tie this game, it's going to be four long minutes for Waterloo. They are doing quite well right now. It's a decent battle for possession right now. That's not a good touch from Dark either. Insomniacs to bounce off the ramp. 
no one's there to follow it up for Waterloo. Large couldn't get all four of his wheels on it. Somnix got to the ball first, but Gino got the height. High ball for Insomnix. Gibb is right there, but cut off by Dark again. Now a breakaway opportunity. He's got Gino on the wing, fighting in the corner for the ball. MD22 breaks it up. Gino cutting in for Large. It puts Large in an awkward spot. He gets back to the ball. A shot Whoa. off the crossbar for Insomnix. MD22 doesn't have enough boost. Gibb, the shot too light. Large down to Dark. And that's the best chance, the best look that Waterloo have had. Here's another two forced up. Off that light touch from Insomnix, and he picks up a demo. Give rolling around the corner, but there's just nothing left for Waterloo to shoot at. But I do like what I'm seeing from Waterloo. They're keeping the pressure on here. And a tough break off the crossbar, but still, opportunity is still alive for Waterloo. They can find each other here in the final third. Great shape coming out for them as well. Not too quick on the ball, not slow on it either, and oh. large. Now skating by the defense. He's got one to beat and an early flick. MD to see it away. Dark the pass to oh, Gino and Gino wow. top puts it in. Great angle. To say the least, yes. First great touch from Dark. Second, oh my goodness. That was nasty. Tip your cap to Gino. That's a shot. And it's insurance for Stockton with less than half the game remaining. Waterloo. They, they put Still out a time. total. They put out a total offense in a series of about one game worth of shots. I don't even think they have ten shots in the series. Hasn't felt like it. Still time for Waterloo. Up until that last goal from Stockton, a minute or so was looking really good from Waterloo. Now you got to convert. Can they get back on that offense? Ball taken away from Waterloo. MD22 can't find a touch. Gibb is going to try, but just too many blue cars in traffic. That shot just wide. It's carried up high again by Insomnix. Gibb actually gets this touch, and it's off oh. the post. Waterloo try as they may. This series has not oh, gone go. away. When it finally breaks, they hit the goal. Gibb breaks through for Waterloo. They cut the lead in half. And it's finally a misclear off the wall. Large is the one who can't make the play, and Gibb will punish. It all comes back around. I've been harping on Waterloo all series long. You gotta call out Stockton when it happens. Plenty of time left for Waterloo at the moment. Just over a minute. They get the demo if they get this one across. It's cleared away by Dark. Getting up high, MD22 has one touch, but it's not good enough. Gibb has to come in and help. Waterloo, precarious position on defense. Dark on the rotation, has Insomnix beat. MD22 picks up the floater. Gibb continues it down past midfield. Chance maybe, MD22 up. The shot off the crossbar! Oh my goodness, no way! Lord, there was a pixel left of space for the ball! Denied! Waterloo at the gate! And it's, now's not the time to get this courage for water. They've got to go. Coming up on 30 seconds left. It's a tough break there, but you've got to shake it off till the end of the game and definitely not give up another goal. Shot comes through off the oh crossbar. My goodness. This one's on the goal line, and they get it away on the Waterloo side. <laughs> Holy moly. Waterloo got to get downfield. Good touch from Gibb. Less than 20 seconds remaining. Dark up high. Large is going to be the first to this. No one to challenge it midfield for Waterloo. MD22 gets in the way. And Somnus can't find the ball. Kim barely oh. keeps it up. And MD22 has to rely on himself. He flips it over. One. It's Gino. Large picks this up. MB22 steals it away. Kim nowhere close to that ball. Large has space. He just has to kill it. Oh, and then Somnus has the catch. He gets by it's Dark. Just Gino. He's around the corner and he loses the ball. Stockton. Take the sweep. The Waterloo Warriors eliminated wow. from the playoffs. And, <laughs> oof. Oh, man. For Talk Waterloo. about a roller coaster. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> on the goal line. That one was for the birds. It just, man. What? It, it hurts <laughs> for Waterloo. This is Stockton's mascot oh. is a bird. Got it. I get it. It was bad. No, 